welcome to our lesson for today. We are looking at systems technology and we are focusing on hardware. Now we are going to look at hardware that is for output and hardware for storage. Now we did look at hardware for input devices. Now let's explore this output and storage hardware. Now what is output? Output is what you receive or what you get after you have entered and your data has been processed. Now you get different types of output, just like you get different types of input. Now types of output you get output in a form of text, output in a form of a graphic, which is a picture, out for, uh, output in a form of an audio, or output in a form of a video. Again, these output would depend on the device that you used. Another thing that is very important is that when you look at output in terms of text, now it comes in a different format. You get output, which is hard copy, and output, which is a soft copy. Now, hard copy would mean, obviously, that your text has been printed out. That is why you'd say it's hard copy because it's physical and you can see it. Now, soft copy, it means it's still in your computer, stored in there, and that is why I would refer to it as a soft copy. It's not tangible. You can see it, but you can't touch it. Right. And now, let's look at these devices that we have to use in order to have those types of output. Now, these devices would be, the most common one would be your screen and your printer. Now, these devices, firstly, if you look at the screens. Now, the screens that we normally use nowadays, we have your LCD monitors. Now, in the olden days, we used to have your CRT monitors. Now, these LCD monitors, what is important is the size of the screen. Now, the size of the screen is actually measured diagonally in this way from the bottom to the top diagonally, that's how we uh, measure, as well as the quality. The quality it means the image that you would receive on the screen. Now, LCD monitors produce better image quality um, when you um, compare it to the, the LCD, I mean, sorry, to the CRT. Another form of output device would be your printer. Now, when you obviously get output in a form of a printout, that simply means that your output now is a hard copy. Now we've got different types of printers. You get your inkjet, you have your laser. Now what is important in order for you to decide on these output devices, you need to decide what is it that you're going to print, how much are you going to print, and how much are you willing to spend on your printer. So that is why you have to look at the speed of the printer. Is it fast? Is it slow? So you need to compare inkjet, laser. Most of the time your laser printers print faster in terms of the documents. So your laser would be faster. The quality of a printout, meaning does it produce good quality uh, images? Now we all know your inkjet would produce good quality images because it uses ink. And then the cost, it differs. Are you willing to spend at the beginning and save later on? Or are you willing to spend when you are using your computer later on, but spend a little while you buy your, comp your, your printer? So you have to make those decisions whenever you think of buying a printer. Right. Now let's look at storage. Now you've looked at input. You've looked at output devices. Now storage. Now we're going to look at different storage devices. Now a storage device would obviously where your computer would read and write to into a storage me uh, medium using a storage device. Now your storage device would be your DVD or your hard drive. And now what do you use to store information from those storage devices? You'd use a storage medium. Storage medium would be data that is stored in a secondary memory on a storage medium. Now your storage medium would be your CDs, would be your USBs, your flash drive. Now these devices are actually storage devices that you use on a storage medium that you 
find as part of your computer because remember your CD and your hard drive form part of your computer. So these are the most important devices that you would need in order to use your computer. Remember you would have input, you have output, and you need storage where you'll be able to save your data for later purposes. And then now these devices have got different measuring capacity or the size. So it's very important to understand in terms of the size, how much you want to store, and how big do you want to, um, your hard drive to be. But you cannot want to, to get a bigger storage device if you know that you're using your computer just for basic use. So people who are normally uh, graphic designers, people who use their computer for gaming would definitely need a bigger storage device. Now let's look at um, the volatility of RAM. Now what do we mean when we say RAM is volatile? What we mean is that when your computer is switched off, the contents of the memory is erased. So RAM will only function when your computer is switched on. All right, so even though it would be part of storage, but it only functions when your computer is switched on. Then some of the different storage medium, remember it's very important to understand the, the size. You have kilobits there, you have megabytes there, you have one gig, you have one tera, and all of these sizes, obviously it's made up of the smaller sizes before. As you can see, your gig would make up terabytes, your megabytes would make up gigabytes, your kilobytes would make up megabytes, and then bytes would have your kilobytes. Right, so that is all that we had to focus on today in terms of storage as well as output, but we will focus more into these um, devices individually later on. So we thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next time.